What's up with y'all boys, man? I don't know how long this video gonna be, but this gonna be kind of a wish list, fix list, rent list about all game modes. I don't know. Like, this gonna be freestyle too. So, it's gonna be a lot of cuts because I'm not finna just be sitting here on my, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be doing all that. But this is gonna be a wish list, fix list, whatever you wanna call it. And the first thing I wanna say as a community, we need to start normalizing dropping early wish lists. It ain't too early to start thinking about the next 2K because y'all know y'all gonna find something that y'all don't like. So we need to normalize dropping 2K wish lists in like November, December, bro. Like we got to, cause to, you if you really think about it, 2K has only been worked on for like 10 months. You feel me? A lot of the patches that we get throughout the year are pre-scheduled patches or pre-planned patches. The only thing they change, they might slow a move down or they might speed something up or they might, you know, change how a contest be or something like that. But they not like like main mechanics, like core mechanics, they not nerfing that. They not going to nerf that the middle of the year because if they doing that still, if they still dropping patches in the middle of the year, just know that next 2K going to be trash because the last 2K where we was getting consistent patches every day, every week was like 2k 17 and you know what 2k came after that you feel me so we don't need that we need so we need everybody if you're gonna drop a wish list a lot of people the popular time to drop wish list is around like april may and we all know about around april may june the main mechanics of the next 2k is already done they they done added in new stuff and everything already they just working out kinks they way they making demo versions of the game for the community days and stuff like that they not they not working on, they not trying to fix nothing else. You feel me? They just going to probably slow and speed up moves like I said earlier. But I went on a little tangent. I don't know what gameplay in the background, by the way. I actually do know what's gameplay. I just lied. Why did I lie like that? I know what gameplay in the background. But I'm going to chop it up. I'm just, I just got the full 27 minute rec gameplay. But y'all going to probably get a, a way more concise gameplay than what I'm looking at right now. I just needed some time to get my thoughts off. You know what I'm saying? And it might even cut into some more gameplay because I might end up trimming. And you, I, I'm, I'm running too much about that. Number one on my list is like one of the most irritating things to me on 2K. And it's been in 2K. Bro, literally the other day I was playing 2K11 and it was still in, it, it was in that game. You know what I'm saying? So, and that is when you get a steal and they drop the ball but they react to them dropping the ball faster than you can react to getting the steal also on this 2k is real bad uh, it's been in like the last few 2ks but if you under the goal and you can contest somebody's jump shot or contest somebody's layup or dunk and you get to stop why do you recover slower as the defender than the person that was the uh, offensive player like you recover slower like you still be in your contest animation and they've landed picked the ball up and went back up with it and you still trying to get out your animation so like them type that type of stuff needs to be worked on needs to be sped up something you feel me some needs to be added in to make that like speed up bro also a lot of these i know like when 2k get people to do like mocap which they, they still gonna be doing mocap i'm pretty sure but like with the pro play and stuff like that but I know when they get people to come in and do mocap, they tell them to do it at like half speed. And it makes every move look just so nonchalant. And I just hate it so much. Like it'd be a lot of stuff where it's like, well, why are you moving like that? You know what I'm saying? Like why why are you moving like that to a loose ball? You see the ball is about to go out of bounds. Why are you slowly trying towards the ball? And I know you might be like, well, what's your workhorse on? Bro, it don't matter. Why am I moving that slow towards the ball? <laughs> like, you are an NBA player. Why am I tr slowly trotting to the ball when it's about to go out of bounds and I'm about to get a turnover? Who's going to do that? Who's doing that? You know what I'm saying? And I thought about this point while I was just ranting about the last thing, and that's the passing off of people's body. I don't know why that's a thing. I clearly see that this person's, person is in front of me. Why would I throw it directly at this person's forehead? Why would I do that? Why would I throw it directly at this person's chest, their, their knee, their leg? Why am I throwing it at that? And I got a 96 pass accuracy. Why am I still doing it? I could see if you got like a low pass, if you got like a 60 something, maybe even 70s. I could see that being like, okay, 
it made sense. But if I got a 85 plus pass accuracy, it should be like animations where I, I wrap around a person and throw it. Like that happens way too often for my liking to wear like, and then it's another thing that be happening with me. Let's say I be like in the triple threat and I be, I tell somebody to cut to throw him a oop. And for some reason, my player just throw the ball into the uh, to the defender's hand, and it tips off the person's hand for some reason. I don't understand it, and that's like the most irritating turnover that I've ever got. And look, I don't know if that's popped up in the clip. I don't know how this game, like I said, I don't know how this gameplay gonna be edited up. But like that was perfect time, and how this video had silver bailout, and my dude threw the ball. <laughs> or like, I don't, I don't understand it, and I got a turnover, but. Like turn getting turnovers is like the most irritating thing to me. I hate getting turnovers, especially when I'm running PG. I hate getting turnovers, but I mean you you susceptible to getting turnovers. When to my third point, the steals is so like look at that. Like what is going on? Like and the steals is so RNG. Like one game you might get you might can get like ten steals on your on a player with an 85 steal, and then the next game you reaching the same way. The next game, you're doing the same as that stuff, but now they files. So or now your player just not reaching towards the ball, the right, the right ball hand. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of stuff is like I just like I always say this on all my wish lists, and I ain't made a wish list really in like two years. But I just want 2K to make sense, bro. If I got a 98 steal, let me <laughs> let me steal the ball. Like if I'm, especially if it's like like if he's not protecting the ball, he just dribbling it with his left hand and. And I go over and reach towards the ball, and my player like reaches through the ball, or he files the person for no reason. Also, if the person has a low BH, centers shouldn't be this comfortable bringing the ball up the court. I don't care. Like I don't. I know. Like I can understand. Like on my 16 that I got, I got a 76 ball handle, and I got silver unpluggable. I believe or gold. I don't know. I think it's silver. I got silver unpluggable, so it makes sense. Like you can't just reach on me, but. I know these centers don't be having no gold, silver, unpluggable when they be bringing the ball up the court. Cause, and it don't even make sense cause the bills that have high unpluggable, have high ball handle get ripped more than the people that don't. I don't understand it. And that's been a thing for the longest as well. Like there's been a thing since 2K, what, 19? 2K, like 2K 17? Like that's been a thing for so long as well. I ain't even gonna lie to you. And like, that's just a, like, for somebody that's been playing 2K for 10 plus years, that type of stuff just irritates me so much to where like if i got a 95 bh i'm getting ripped more than a person with a 68. no that don't make no sense bro i don't care and you could say it's because people that's got lower bh protects the ball more and they dribbling but still i see people protect the ball with a high bh and they still get ripped more than a person that has the ball and has a 95 bh you feel me another thing like plate color should not be dependent on like winning and losing i don't know why it seemed like earlier in the in 2k24 cycle it seemed like that was the case like if you played good individually your t your um plate color would go up regardless if you won or lost i i, I could have swore that was a thing like I, I i don't know why they changed it i don't know why they i think because i swear bro like early in the year it didn't matter if you won or lost. If you had a B plus or higher, a A, 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 a B plus or higher, your your um performance level would go up. But now it's like you could have an A plus, but get blew out. I mean, if you get blew out by thirty, I, I, you know I suppose. But I would I could see it just not moving. If it just stayed the same after getting blew out by thirty, that wouldn't be the case. But we get blew out by 30 and I had an A plus 30 and I'm the only one that was contributing to the to the game, to the team. Why am I getting deducted for lose, for the, my team being trash? You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. I've already ran it for almost 10 minutes. So let me know if y'all want a part two by hitting the like button and I'll drop a part two. I still hadn't talked about the builder. I hadn't talked about online play. I hadn't talked about none of that. I've only talked about mechanics that I found irritating that a lot you know what i'm saying and i still ain't talk really talk about steve i ain't talk about a lot of stuff i just really just wanted to make this video to kind of be a base standard you know what i'm saying like this this, this the first video so if y'all want a part two part three part four go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button try to get this video to 10 likes and um 
Also, you can use the comment section down below to put some more topics or something that y'all might want me to cover in the next video. Anything, any uh, wish list things or any fix list things, any rant things that y'all want me to put into that in the next video. I'll comment down below and I'd like cover them. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, get my opinion on them or whatever. You feel me? But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. 10 likes for the next one. And I'll see y'all in the next one.